equal rights in the lecture room letter to the committee of the new bedford lyceum november twenty nine eighteen forty five by charles sumner eighteen eleven to eighteen seventy four this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org after accepting an invitation to lecture at the lyceum at new bedford mr sumner learning that colored persons were denied membership and equal opportunities with white persons refused to lecture as appears in the following letter which was published in the paper of the time shortly afterwards the obnoxious rule was rescinded and mr sumner lectured boston november twenty nine eighteen forty five my dear sir i have received your favor of november twenty four asking me to appoint an evening in february or march to lecture before the new bedford lyceum in pursuance of my promise on receiving the invitation of your lyceum i felt flattered and in undertaking to deliver a lecture at some time to be appointed afterwards i promised myself particular pleasure in an occasion of visiting a town which i had never seen but whose refined hospitality and liberal spirit as described to me awakened my warmest interest since then i have read in the public prints a protest purporting to be by a gentleman known to me by reputation who are members of the lyceum and some of them part of its government from which it appears that in former years tickets of admission were freely sold to colored persons as to white persons and that no objection was made to them as members but that at the present time tickets are refused to colored persons and membership is also refused practically though by special vote recently adopted they are allowed to attend the lectures without expense provided they will sit in the north gallery from these facts it appears that the new bedford lyceum has undertaken within its jurisdiction to establish a distinction of caste not recognized before one of the cardinal truths of religion and freedom is the equality and brotherhood of man in the sight of god and of all just institutions the white man can claim no precedence or exclusive privilege from his color it is the accident of an accident that places a human soul beneath the dark shelter of an african countenance rather than beneath our colder complexion nor can i conceive any application of the divine injunction do unto others as you would have them do unto you more pertinent than to the man who founds a discrimination between his fellow-men on difference of skin it is well known that the prejudice of color which is akin to the stern and selfish spirit that holds a fellow-man in slavery is peculiar to our country it does not exist in other civilized countries in france colored youths at college have gained the highest honors and been welcomed as if they were white at the law school there i have sat with them on the same benches in italy i have seen an abyssinian mingling with monks and there was no apparent suspicion on either side of anything open to question all this was christian so it seemed to me in lecturing before a lyceum which has introduced the prejudice of color amongst its laws and thus formally reversed an injunction of highest morals and politics i might seem to sanction what is most alien to my soul and join in disobedience to that command which teaches that the children of earth are all of one blood i cannot do this i beg therefore to be excused at present from appointing a day to lecture before your lyceum and i pray you to lay this letter before the lyceum that the ground may be understood on which i deem it my duty to decline the honor of appearing before them i hope you will pardon the frankness of this communication and believe me my dear sir very faithfully yours charles sumner to the chairman of the committee of the bedford lyceum end of equal rights in the lecture room by charles sumner 
1811 to 1874.